Lagos. Away from that stinking part of Lagos, let's turn to Yobe State, where government has outlined operational guidelines for private school proprietors in the state. This move is aimed at curbing illegalities and sharp practices in the education sector. Yobe State correspondent Michael Oshoma reports. In a meeting with the state commissioner for basic and secondary education, Sani Idris says any private school owner who go contrary to the new guidelines will be dealt with in concordance with the laws. With this move, it is now clear that the declaration of state of emergency in the education sector by Governor May Malabuni will yield the desired results. So, in a bid to sustain the drive for quality education, the state government, through the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, adopt the operational guidelines set by the government addressing the private school proprietors. The State Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education warned against flaunting the guidelines. Another pressing issue in the state is that of private schools operating without license, which the Commissioner frowned at. Schools in your best state are to a large extent operating without license. And we have resolved today to write to all banks operating in your best state not to register any school that is not licensed by government. And that any bank which approved to give open an account for any private school that is not licensed by the bank, uh, the government will not hesitate to take a legal action against that bank. After the meeting, the private school operators promised to adhere to the new guidelines. By the grace of God, we are going to abide by this regulation. And we pray all the promises he made for us, we pray that he make it a reality. What the commissioner has said is has favored me and has favored everybody. And we are going to abide by all the rules and regulations. We appreciate his effort. Any private school that is henceforth not ready to play the games by its rules, any private school that is deliberately using those books that are inimical to our culture, we risk being closed. The commissioner wants that boys and girls should be seated separately in class. This, he claimed, is part of the cultural value of the states. Michael Oshoma, TVC News, Damaturi, Yubi States. Government alone cannot provide 